Ice cream trucks. I chased that. Two shoes. I laced that. Carly Rae Jepsen. I bumped that. My Dragon Ball Z shirt. I rocked that. I watched that. <laughs> but I ain't a clapper. Now I'm a grown man. I like me some multicolored equine. Characters are relatable, beautiful animation, the voice acting is great. It, it's just a damn good show. Now before y'all start thinking. I am gay. I am a fag. I'm a butt humper. Oh, oh. But this ain't the first little kid's show a grown man like myself will admit I have watched. Man, after coming home playing some sports, I come home and watch me some Dora, some Dragon Tales, some Arthur. I fucking love Arthur. Don't, don't you judge me. Every day when they're walking down the street. That was classic, you already know. Also, not only is the music from the actual show good, but freaking the fan-made music? Oh my god, that stuff gets me hyped. This is from a bronies, ain't no phony. Shit that they can ferret out, no kill Coney. Now with all that stuff, you may be thinking this dude's a hardcore brony, right? Yeah, yeah. The thing is, when I first saw this show, I was obsessive over it, like scary obsessive, and I just couldn't stop watching it. And I kept trying to get people I knew into it. Join us. Join us. Join us. Then I matured and found that's not really the way to get people into it, and then my friends actually got into it themselves because they saw how infatuated I was with it. But after BronyCon 2012, I felt my obsession with the show began to die down. Sure, I still enjoy it still, but not everything I do has to be based around it. Like, my old videos were primarily on that stuff, but now I'm just kind of like, yeah, no. Personally, I'm happy I'm out of that stage. It felt like I've been brainwashed. No, it is so weird how the show did that. As a matter of fact, I'm generally curious to how it controlled me for so long. Now you may be thinking I'm ashamed of those old days to think bronies are a bunch of geeks. LEAVE THIS PLACE! I CAST YOU OUT! But that's not it at all. When I went to BronyCon, I met some of the kindest, most hospitable, most generous, most helpful people I've ever met. A little eccentric sometimes. Now while my OC is not my main picture and I don't use a random pony picture 24-7, I just do that because I'm happy for who I am. I like being me. Okay, I don't need nothing covered. Now with that said, I'm not ashamed of how I was in the old days, and I don't think I'm above any of the bronies or anything like that. Matter of fact, most of them are my subs, and I think they're really great and nice people. For all of them watching this, yeah, I love you guys. You're freaking awesome. Except for the ones who clop to the key markers haters, I'm gonna punch you in the fucking face. All I've noticed the term is starting to develop a kind of stigma these days, because a lot of the eccentric fans have been spamming it where it's not really wanted. As a matter of fact, I was talking to a few well-knowns of the fandom, they were starting to notice the same thing too. Like before, Brony was just male fan of the show. And I was just like, fuck yeah, I'll rock that. Now I was becoming an obsessive fan of the show, this blah 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 blah. And I'm just hearing all this other stuff, and I'm just like, well, that's okay. I'm just a freaking fan, but technically I am a girl. I'm black. Like Andre Black Nerd said, black, yeah. Niggas represent. I actually got me to laugh at that too. But yeah, you can be called whatever the hell you want to be called. Just don't get in people's face saying you are a brony or you're not a brony, okay? I remember before I used to think the show was like the second greatest show I've ever seen before, but now I'm just like, no! Young Justice, the Avatar series, freaking Attack on Titan. Watch Attack on Titan, it's fucking amazing. I'm also very grateful for the show because without it, I wouldn't have met all my close friends today. Me and my buddy Carl going ham at KFC and GG Fee, am I right Carl? GG Fee bro, GG Fee all the way, all the way across the sky. GG Fee bro! I've made too many great friends to count from this show and I am truly grateful. I'll always love it in the fan-made content. And Fluttershy will always be the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Rock this MLB stuff because it looks stylish. I mean, I collect toys and nothing, but anyways, I'm happy for all my friends I've made through this fandom and I can talk to them about other awesome stuff as well. Attack on Titan, watch it. People trying to stand up for saying bronies aren't weird. Yes, it is weird, but stand up for embrace your weirdness. I do. Personally, I'm not weird. Later, my Dragon Ballers. Both to the bronies out there. P.S. I'm not leaving the fandom. I don't even know how the hell you leave something you're already a fan of.